Hello game devs, I hope you're enjoying your Christmas season. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your player hitbox. So I've had a lot of comments asked about how to set up a player hitbox and I just wanted to make a quick tutorial on that. So this is your player hitbox, which you can find from the sample project in that of GDevelop platformer or you can create using Pisco. It's quite simple though. So what I'm going to do is show you how to set it up. So right here you have your player hitbox. So go ahead, click on the three dots and click on edit objects. So what we are doing is to add behavior. So when you are creating a platformer game, behaviors are most important for controlling the object. So you want to go ahead and add the behavior and click on platformer character. So with this, you want to apply that and get into new scene events. So here you want to go ahead and click on add a new empty event and then go for that of add action go for that of common actions for all objects and once you are here you want to go for position right here you have a number of positions you want to go for position of an object and then you want to pick up your character so my character right here is candy man which is a character that i specifically choose for this christmas season because it has been dressed up and it's actually a candy so we want to go for modification sign and you set that to an equal to your X position. You want to type in here player head box. Mind you, you can change the name though. You can change it from player head box to any other name. But since the name is player head box, you're going for player head box minus 12. So this is for the X position modification sign. You will set that to an equal to or a set to also and then the y position is player hitbox y into bracket so with this you're actually done so this is the basis this is how it actually works so when you're creating a platformer game and you're looking to set up your player hitbox that is the little piece of event you need to use now i'm going to run this game So right here, you see that my character is actually fallen and it's not fitting directly on the player hitbox. So I wanted you to see this error just so that I'll show you how to fix that. So I'll close this and then you want to make sure your character fits that of your player hitbox or you want your player hitbox to fit your character. So I'm going to do the latter. I'm going to make my player hitbox fix that of my character. So right here, 100 and 150 is the custom size of my character i'm going to change the player head box to the same custom size if i make it the same size let me just show you if i make this 150 and i go ahead and run the game right here you can tell the player head box is a little bit taller than that of my player so right underneath the players shoes you can tell there's a little space over there and that's what i was trying to avoid so you want to be very keen on how you set it i'm going to change this to four eight and then i'm going to go ahead and run it okay so now you can tell it's directly on the floor so this is exactly how you want it to be so with this you want to go ahead and hide the player hitbox so you want to add a new empty event for the condition you want to type in your search panel at the this is going to give you at the beginning of the scene so click on that and go for ok now add an action so the action you right here is to hide so you can just search for it it's easier go for hide now pick up the player head box and then ok with this you want to go ahead and run the game again so right here, I have my player set to the ground without the player hitbox. So I can move my player. So there's no animation for the player yet, but my player hitbox is pretty much working. So this is how to set up your player hitbox in GDevelop 5. So this is the new version of GDevelop 5, GDevelop 5 Beta 102. You want to update your game engine or you can actually just follow the tutorial and then 
use the same logic in whatever version you are using if this video was helpful just smash on the like button if you want to join this channel click on the subscribe button i hope you're having a blast and thank you arigato game devs